Hi everyone, welcome to Math Lee. Today, we are diving into one of the most essential and widely used techniques in machine learning and statistics, linear regression. Linear regression is a powerful tool for making predictions and it's divided into two types, simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. In this video, we will focus on simple linear regression, which involves modeling the relationship between one dependent variable and one independent variable. In this video, we will break down the concept, how it works, and how you can visualize it using the Orange Data Mining software. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how linear regression works and how to apply it. Let's get started. Linear regression is a statistical method used to model the relationship between a dependent variable, which is the one you want to predict, and one or more independent variables, which are the inputs or the features. There are two main types of linear regression. Simple linear regression. This involves just one independent variable, the input, and one dependent variable, the output. Multiple linear regression. This extends to multiple independent variables. Let's simplify this with an example. Imagine you're running a cafe and want to predict daily revenue based on the number of customers. Simple linear regression helps you establish this relationship mathematically with the formula y equals mx plus c. Here's what each term means. y, the predicted outcome, like your daily revenue. x, the independent variable, such as the number of customers visiting your cafe. m, the slope of the line, representing how much y changes with each additional customer. c, the intercept indicating the predicted revenue when there are no customers, or x equals zero. Simple linear regression works by finding the best fitting straight line through your data points. This line minimizes the difference between the actual values and the predicted values known as the error or residual. To sum up, simple linear regression is all about uncovering the relationship between two variables and using it to make informed predictions with ease. Let's break down how simple linear regression works into three simple steps. Step 1. Gather data. Referring back to our cafe example, where you want to predict daily revenue based on the number of customers, this step involves collecting data. You would record the number of customers visiting your cafe each day and the corresponding revenue. This data helps establish the relationship between the two variables. Remember, the more accurate and extensive your data, the better your predictions will be. Step 2. Fit the line. Once you have your data, the next step is to determine the best fitting line that represents the relationship between the number of customers and the revenue. Think of this line as a summary of the data. It captures the general trend without getting caught up in every single detail. Here's how it works in simple terms. The algorithm calculates the line that minimizes the gap between the actual data points and the predicted values on the line. This process ensures the line reflects the overall pattern in your data. We won't go into the heavy math behind it, but just know that the goal is to make the line as close to the data points as possible so it becomes a reliable tool for prediction. Step 3. Make predictions. Now, the magic happens. Once the line is ready, you can use it to estimate your daily revenue based on a new input like the number of customers you expect tomorrow. For instance, if you anticipate 150 customers, the line will give you a predicted revenue value. This makes simple linear regression a practical and powerful tool for forecasting and planning. While we have focused on predicting revenue using one input variable, the customer count, in this example, there can be more complex scenarios with multiple factors, such as the day of the week or special promotions, to refine your predictions even further. And that is multiple linear regression, which we will be covering in the next video. So by following these steps, simple linear regression takes raw data and transforms them into a clear predictive model that you can rely on. Now, let's move into Orange software. In this video, we will be using the salary dataset from Kaggle throughout the demonstration. So, I've imported the salary dataset from my local machine. After loading the dataset, I have used the data table widget to read the data. Here, you can see the training data, which contains years experience, the number of years an individual employee has worked, salary, 
the corresponding salary for that experience level. And the target column here is salary and it is what we aim to predict. Let's look at one row as an example. Employee ID is zero and he has 1.2 years of experience and the salary for this employee is 39,344. Like that, the dataset contains 50 rows, which means we have information for 50 individuals providing information for building and training the model. Next, I have used the Select Columns widget to choose the Features, Target and Metas information for the prediction task. In the features section, I have added years experience as this is the input variable we will be using to predict salaries. In the target section, I have added salary which is the output we aim to predict. Finally, I have included ID in the meta section. Meta columns don't influence the prediction but provide additional information. For instance, tracking the individual records. Now, I have added the linear regression widget to train the model. This widget works by learning the relationship between year's experience and salary from the dataset. It calculates the best fitting straight line to represent this relationship. For example, the model identifies that as year's experience increases, the salary also increases at a specific rate represented by the slope of the line. This relationship allows us to predict salaries for unseen data. And then I have added a new file widget called testing data where I have included 10 rows with the same feature column as the training data. This testing data set will help us evaluate how the model predicts salary based on the input feature. Now let's see how the model performs on this new data. Next I have added the predictions widget to evaluate how the model performs with the testing data. For example, in the first row, the employee ID is 100, the years of experience is 9.5 years. Based on these inputs, the model predicts a salary of 108,520. By looking at these results, we can see how years of experience affect the salary and how well the model performs. With this, the workflow is complete showing how Orange Data Mining helps build and test predictive models easily. In real-world applications, multiple linear regression is often the go-to tool because many situations involve multiple factors influencing an outcome. However, sometimes we encounter situations where only one factor affects the outcome and that's where simple linear regression comes in. Simple linear regression focuses on modeling the relationship between two variables, one independent variable and one dependent variable. Let's explore a few examples where simple linear regression is useful. Business. Companies can use simple linear regression to predict sales based on a single factor such as advertising spend. By analyzing how advertising affects sales, businesses can make data-driven decisions on their marketing budget. Finance. In the world of finance, analysts often use simple linear regression to predict stock prices based on a single independent variable such as past stock performance or interest rates. Environmental Science Researchers can use simple linear regression to predict a specific environmental change like temperature based on one factor such as the amount of CO2 emissions. The simplicity of simple linear regression lies in its ability to model a clear relationship between two variables, providing valuable insights in a straightforward manner. And that is simple linear regression. We have covered the basics, how it works, and its practical applications. I hope this video gives you a clear understanding of this algorithm. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Mathly for more data science tutorials. Comment below with what you would like to learn next. Thank you for watching and see you next time.